ago, 400,000 young people gathered to the mall in Washington, D.C. to fast and pray. The crisis was so real, we knew that the nation was at stake, and the only hope was massive fasting and prayer. Eight years later, the stakes are higher than they've ever been. We stand at the hinge of history. Since 1973, we've had the choice. We have chosen to kill 50 million babies. That's more than the combined populations of Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Detroit, Houston, Los Angeles, Miami, Minneapolis, New Orleans, New York, Philadelphia, Phoenix, San Francisco, Seattle, St. Louis, and Washington, D.C. We have chosen to kill a baby every 22 seconds. If 600,000 men died on the battlefields of the Civil War because of slavery, what is coming to America if God brings a day of reckoning for 50 million babies? Sexual immorality in the U.S. has now reached unprecedented levels. The pornographic industry is larger than the revenues of the top technological companies combined. From the head to the toe, the whole church is saturated with sexual compromise, and we've just basically said, well, that's just the way it is in our culture. No, it isn't. It's about the blazing eyes of Jesus that is hotly pursuing a generation. When there is no hope, when there is no remedy, God still has a holy prescription. It's not too late for America. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Call a solemn assembly and gather all the inhabitants of the land. We gather on August 16th to the mall in DC for united massive fasting and prayer. A day we believe can change history. It is time for a new justice movement to come forth. I believe there's a generation that's gonna raise up a prayer movement and a voice in America that's gonna overthrow this altar of death.